And solely derives from me I am the God who gave your life to choose I created you I am the God who gave your life to choose I created you God bless you this evening. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. Quickly, I was born and raised in this city. New York, New York, so nice, they named it twice. Born and raised in the city, actually in the South Bronx, and I like to tell people that the South Bronx is a little bit like Nazareth. People ask, can anything good come out of it? I don't know, but I know this, that Jesus can save. Yeah. Amen. So I was raised in a Christian home. My grandfather was a pastor of a small church back then. It's now a pretty good-sized church, a Spanish-speaking church. My grandfather was a pastor, and my parents were missionaries. They actually left for Cuba when I was three months old and were there for about a year and came back. My mom was an evangelist. My father was a singer. And so my heritage is beautiful. I was never abused. I was never neglected. I was never um, abandoned. My mother had more babysitters than she knew what to do with. So I don't have one of those stories of how terribly mistreated I was, or sometimes you hear stories about children raised with a family of people in ministry and they don't walk the talk. No, I had a godly grandfather and godly grandparents that showed me the way, and yet I was 15 years old when I decided that I wanted to be a pop singer. And I thought, and what's wrong with that? And sometimes when I say that, I think people in the audience say, and what is wrong with that? Well, let me just tell you this. My desires cannot be the same as people that don't know Jesus Christ. And even though I was raised hearing this glorious gospel, I didn't understand that I was made to glorify God, which means that, that, that my desire is that God looks wonderful through me and that people through me should be attracted to the living God. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted you. I wanted to fill a theater like this one. This would have been nice. This would have been real nice. I wanted to fill a theater like this, and I wanted you to walk out of here talking about me. I wanted you to walk out of here mentioning my name. And you see, it took me a long time to find out how very wrong that is. But the Lord in his mercy and in his patience and in his long suffering. I remember somebody once getting up to say, you know what long suffering means? Long suffering. <laughs> and he suffered long with me. And in 1988, I was 33. And Pastor Simula invited me to go with him to Argentina. I'm bilingual. And he didn't know the condition of my heart or he would not have invited me. Aren't you glad that God blinds people sometimes? <laughs> and he goes, oh, Damaris, you can sing in Spanish. This is, I'm going to a pastor's conference. You'll be able to just speak to these people and sing to them in Spanish and bless them. And I said, oh, I would love to. You see, since I wanted to go, I, I thought, there's nothing wrong with me. I want to go and do this nice little mission work. Oh, that'd be lovely. Of course I'll go, Pastor Simula. So sure enough, I go. And when I get to Tucumán, Argentina, it wasn't Buenos Aires, it was Tucumán. I got to, I got to tell you, it's just a big difference. <laughs> so I'm in Tucumán. The hotel that I'm in doesn't even have, my room doesn't even have a phone. 
And Pastor Simbolo speaks, and people are worshiping God. And let me just tell you what God showed me that night in Argentina. I had never been with people, honestly. I just told you that I was raised in a godly home. I had never been with people that loved God the way those people loved God. And if you ever want to know if you really love God, you get with somebody that does. And you'll find out real quickly if you love God. And the Lord said to me so sweetly that night, this is the problem, Damaris. You believe in me. You even revere me, but you do not love me. Because if you loved me, you would want to give yourself completely to me. And the only thing I could do that night, and it's what I did, is tell the Lord this, I repent. I understand now that I was bought with a precious price. When you're bought by Jesus Christ, your life no longer belongs to you. It is completely his. And I told the Lord, I am so sorry. But God, I have to be honest with you because you're truth and no one can lie to you. I can't change my heart. You know what I want. I told him, you know I want Madison Square Garden. You know I want Radio City Musical. You know that's what I want. And that's still what I want, God. But I, at least I understand now that for me to want that, for the reasons that I want it, it's wrong. And I repent, and I'm sorry, and I cannot change my heart. But here it is, and if you can change it, I'm yours. <laughs> and I am here to tell you tonight that he can change any heart. I wasn't a drug addict. I wasn't a person walking the street. I was a person who had li lived hearing the gospel and yet very far, honoring him with my lips, but my heart was far from him. But I'm telling you that even those kind of people, Jesus can rescue. God bless you. My hands wove you gently in the womb, tenderly you grew. Long before you knew, orchestrated life into every rain, breathed into your heart, love flowed through your veins. There was no mistake, you were in my plan. I ordered your steps before life began, called you by your name, I showed you the way. In which you should walk I'm your source of life I'm the light that's shining To guide your path I'm the soil that nourishes your being I'm the air you breathe Your existence solely derives from me I am the God who Gave your life to choose